Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jonathan again. And I think to kick off the review video, I figure what better way to start than with some eye protection. And since we're dealing primarily with daisy rifles, I thought we'd bring in Daisy Red Rider Starter Kit. Let's rip through it. Before we move along, I'd just like to point out that this is not going to be a legit unboxing. I've had this box open now for the past couple weeks. I've had it out and about. And with that out of the way, I feel like I can give you a proper and thorough review of it. Let's go. Now this little setup comes in around the $10 range on the shelf at my local Walmart. And you can see it comes with a 350 count of the Red Rider BB tubes. It's got 10 Red Rider shooting gallery targets. It's got the gun sleeve. And that's about it other than the safety glasses which is the most important part of it. All around the box you're not going to find much of any details about the length and dimensions of your gun sleeve. So I'll just save you that trouble right now and I'll tell you a little about it. On the wide end it comes in at just over 8 inches wide and on the front end where it's rounded over from about this point down to here it's going to be 4 inches. You'll notice the front loop and the straps do not go all the way around such as the picture likes to depict. You can fit three guns in this one bag and fitting two in it, it fits snugly. Fitting three in there, it's kind of crowded, but it's still doable. You could run, you can sandwich them in, you know. You could run one gun upright, one gun upside down, and then your top one upright again. And it will all fit in here. They all slide out of the rear. This is not a full wraparound zipper either. And your overall gun length of the bag is 40 inches from end to end. When you unbag your gun bag, you're going to find that it's in a round compressed plastic tube shrink wrap just to fit in the little box. This is a woven nylon and what I have found with it is briars don't like it, cockaburs don't like it, thorns don't like it. You're not going to get anything stuck on this bag really that you don't want to. And on an added note, take advantage of your loop up here. Put your rifle in it and let it hang on the wall for about a week and you can get almost all of the wrinkles out of it. You can still see some faint lines, but it's a lot smoother than whatever, whenever you pull it out of the bag and unroll it. Now to start it off with, you got some do's and don'ts and you got some can do's. To start off with the can do's, you'll, with the nylon fabric, you can you can add iron-on patches onto this thing and they'd probably adhere really well but before you even attempt that you're gonna have to cut out some cardboard to fit all the way in the sleeve because the moment you begin to iron and you don't do that you're probably gonna fuse this plastic material together and you really don't want to do that now the plastic material itself it's real soft it's non abrasive Overall, I feel like it's 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 a good material. Now, say you go out and you get this bag dirty, muddy. You could throw it in the washer. Go ahead, wash it on up. But do not throw this in the dryer because the moment you pull it out, you're probably going to find that this plasticky material is probably going to begin separating. And you probably won't like that. The zipper itself is pretty good quality. And I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, if you got to sling your gun bag around, don't worry about your zipper bag coming undone. I ain't had any issues out of that. The stitching is pretty good all the way around. I haven't had any problem with separation or anything yet. And here's what I'm talking about on the, on the difference between the box and the bag. On the box, it shows the loop going all the way around. Well, that ain't the case with this bag. When you pull your targets out of the box, you're going to find them rolled up in a couple of little rubber bands. 
they these are decent quality rubber bands if i might add that you're gonna find you know it's kind of a trick of the eye they're double-sided at first i thought eh, they skimped out you know double-sided targets you know you've only truly got five targets each well that's not the case you have 10 individual targets there's still five of peats, you know, five each. You've got your fun side and you got your side end side. On the side end side, you got your name, date, distance, and score. All right. On the fun side, it's all about, you know, be the first to shoot the star completely out of the target. It measures eight and a half inches long and five and a half inches wide. Now, this was a personal letdown for me whenever I unbox this thing. I like to collect stuff, and what immediately caught my eye with the kit was, you know, you got that iconic Red Rider bullseye, you know, you got the bullseye tube. It's red, black top. Well, I didn't get that. Instead, got the old regular box. And I was like, womp, womp, womp. So that makes two depictions on this box which are not accurate. So with all that said, I've looked around on YouTube and there are other Daisy Red Rider starter kit videos. And they do depict, you know, they get the red tube. So I guess all in all, it really is a gamble if you really want that red tube. How many boxes of the starter kits you gotta buy to find a red tube? God only knows. So for the last and most important piece of this puzzle... Let's check out these cool safety glasses that Daisy's thrown in. They're fully adjustable. You've got your ratchet click on the side. But you've also got your length too. You can adjust the length on them. Fits a wide variety of users. And right here, if I can get it to pan in just right, it's got some really good etching going on with the Daisy logo. I may not be able to get it. But anyway, for the ear pieces, they're real soft rubber. For the nose piece, it's still soft, but it's it's a little bit harder. Not much of a difference. And check out this back piece here. It's got a foam forehead pad. I don't see a lot of safety glasses like that without costing, you know, a little bit more money. So for ten bucks, I mean ain't nobody losing out really and you get to keep your peepers so guys I guess with the overall you know feel of the kit you know despite you know my my opinions on the uh, the variations that aren't labeled on the box you know you got the BB's you know packaging different color and you got the straps for the gun bag you know not being as depicted I really feel like Daisy hit it out of the park with a little $10 Red Rider kit. I don't think you can really go wrong with it, especially for the safety glasses, you know. They're top of the line, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, you can go to Harbor Freight, you can go to Home Depot, you can go anywhere and get some safety glasses. But to get these, this type, on a budget, it just ain't really out there, you know. And this little kit had it. So mad props to Daisy. Until next time, guys. I'll see you on the next round. Later.